So, nice and easy. <gasps> oh my gosh, these are the phone grips. When it started printing originally, it did this. So annoying. This is the washi tape that I finished designing this morning. Hello loves, welcome back to my studio. I am so happy to have you here. I'm gonna do a little quick tidy of the studio because it's a little bit of a mess and refill my cup of tea and then I'm gonna catch you up on everything because I feel like it has been so long since we have had a little chat and I've like told you everything that's going on. I also have a box to run open with you. It got delivered today and I'm just so much like a mix of nerves and excitement. The box is containing my my new pendulum boards and also my new phone grips. <sighs> so I'm really worried about the phone grips because it's the first time making them and I'm really, really, really scared about how they've turned out looking. I get like this with everything that I make though and as soon as I had my shipment of oracle cards, I was already thinking, oh my God, these are gonna be awful. And then it turned out that they were so good. So fingers crossed it's gonna be the same situation with the phone grips. You can actually see the box right there this is it here, that we are gonna open together. I also wanna show you the sticker sheets for this month's Patreon. They arrived as well as a few other little bits. Let me get this tea and then we'll have a chat. Okay, now that I've got my cup of tea, we're gonna open this box. Oh, there's two boxes inside. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna give you guys a different kind of view. So the first box looks like my new pendulums, my blue ones. That blue looks so nice. I'm gonna get one out to show you. Oh my God, they're so pretty. So I get these pendulum boards made with a glitter epoxy. So it has a very like subtle glittery effect. I don't know if you can see. Okay, let's try the next box. It looks like customs have actually opened it because that box was already open. <laughs> so, nice and easy. <gasps> oh my God, I'm so scared. Okay, these, oh my gosh. These are the phone grips. I'm gonna get one out for you. <laughs> <laughs> just to show you how cute that is. Oh my goodness. My supplier was really worried about the fact that you could see the phone grip like through here. Crescent moon phone grips are just like not a thing. They'll have like some design here so like it covers the phone grip and I really feel like a lot of witchy people want a crescent moon. So I made a crescent moon and then I thought like how can it be even more unique and how can it be like cuter and so that's when I added the little star charm and honestly I think it's adorable. I just need to buy some phone cases, some kind of like plainish phone cases. Um, I might actually get some really nice ones and just to test these out, be able to take product photos and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm really in love with how this phone grip turned out and I hope you guys are too. Oh my god. Guys, I just want to say that this was so difficult to design, like this, the fact that it goes around like this, but then the acrylic covers that. I had to get the moon like crescent shape to be like just perfectly matched to the dimensions of the phone grip and it was so difficult to do. And that is what the phone grip is like. You can pop it down and lift it, so it's really good. Um, I'm hoping the stickiness is very good. It feels very sticky, like I'm pulling the phone grip and it's not like wobbling or coming loose or anything like that so you just take off the sticky covering here and stick it onto your phone <laughs> they are honestly such a dream come true oh my god you guys the rest of them are in here we have the butterfly phone grips as well i'm gonna give you a better look oh my gosh you guys look the butterfly grip. I am so interested to see which ones you would pick. So I got a few different designs made up and this is the butterfly design I had made up. 
As you can see, it has like a border around it. I really wanted to keep like the line work and stuff, so I didn't want to make it borderless. And although you can see the foam grip very slightly through it, it's not that much. Oh, I hadn't even pulled it out the whole way before. <laughs> So that is actually the depth of it and you can pop it back in and stick it on. It's so pretty. This was actually the most requested one from my patrons. This is the one they wanted to see come to life. So I'm still set to show you one more phone grip which I'm assuming is in one of these boxes. I just did a little post for my patrons of a first look at the phone grips. They're all sat here by me and I'm just so I love them all so much. Okay, so I wanted to show you something else. I got some sticker sheets made up. One is for this month of Patreon in May, and the second one is for my shop update. So, I get my sticker sheets made up by Sticker Shop, which is a company in the UK. And these stickers right here are the ones for Patreon this month. I like how they turned out, and the feel is just so nice. Then I also got these ones made up for the shop update, which features my little seashell girl. And like the seashell foam grip just goes so well with it. I just love flipping through them all as well. <laughs> it has just been bank holiday weekend here, so I didn't actually do any orders over the bank holiday. Speaking of my Etsy shop, I have the option for them to add a gift note if they want to. Usually I would just use like the back of a mini print to write the gift note, but then I thought, well, maybe it should be a little bit more special and a little bit more professional. So I bought these little cards. They are just little rectangular square cards, but I can write the note on there and I just feel like it's gonna look a lot better than what I've been doing. Those I got from Amazon and I will try and leave the link below for you, but these are them here. Pink envelopes for Patreon have also arrived. I just love them so much. I got a bigger pack this time because for June, I'm hoping to do a Hello Kitty Sanrio characters kind of theme. I have quite a lot written down on my to-do list today. So far I ordered my washi tapes for my shop update. Then I also wanted to record a video about how I feel like I'm failing as a full-time artist. So I've already done that as well, which is really good. I feel like I'm ahead of myself. Then I've got to do my orders and my vlog. Then once that's all wrapped up, I'm then hopefully gonna find time to record, finally record my Patreon tutorial my patron hair tutorial. This is gonna be like really in depth and I'm hoping to also make a image based version of it that I can maybe sell in packs for people who don't wanna join Patreon. And then lastly, I have to finish my post for today, which I don't think I'm going to be able to. I have been working very quickly on it. This is it here. I don't think I'll have it done today, but there are a couple of posts I've been waiting to do which has been hard during mermaid because I have to keep posting my mermaid pieces but one of them is going to be the pre-order for my mermaid oracle deck and the other post I wanted to do was for this month of Patreon. I also like to record a little reel every now and again especially when I'm doing these vlogs and especially when I get products in I like to try and do a little reel of that as well and have that ready for the future. So I'm going to try and do that today. My last sticker sheet reel which is this one did really really well. It was really consistent really good at getting me new followers. I feel like it's slowly starting to die down and with the drop in engagement on Instagram then I might not get any luck like that again. But I really want to do another sticker sheet themed reel because everyone loved that one so much so I think the new designs will just be perfect to show in that. But let's get on with the orders because that is our main priority right now. Okay, so you know how I said that I updated my patrons and let them know what the phone grips all look like? Well, they have just been so sweet. I just feel really close to crying because I made that video this morning where I was saying about how like I feel like a failure, but the people that like my art and are friends with me are just so, so like loving and encouraging and despite feeling like a little bit worried about where I am financially etc and what the future holds for my business like despite all of that I have these wonderful human beings that just uplift me at every turn and honestly I'm just so grateful for that in itself. People can say a lot of negative stuff about the internet but 
The connections we're able to make with people through the internet is something we are so lucky to have. This is the washi tape that I finished designing this morning. It looks a little bit weird on the camera here, but I'm really excited for it because of this cat. I think it's going to be so cute. In true printer fashion, it has started coming up with lines again. When it started printing originally, it did this. And I was like, oh, maybe it's just, you know, it hasn't been printing for a little while. Maybe that's why. <sighs> this is so annoying. I think I fixed the printer. I'm just moving on to cutting the stickers. I'm gonna do a little reel of these as well. I really wanna do like a peeling reel. I really love these little free stickers. They were for my Sailor Moon theme on Patreon last year. 